<laughs> Hi guys, we're just going to wait for some people to come on. <laughs> this is going to seem a little bit unorganized to begin with. We're also live on Facebook as well right now. Hi guys, we're so excited to talk about extensions today. That is why everybody is here and this is going to be a super informative video. Jennifer, you're going to have to put that on silent and give it to Chris, please. <laughs> We've got a couple of trusty helpers today. Hey, Georgia. Um, so Chris is going to be my question person because um, obviously I kind of can't, oh hi Rosemary, I can't really see from here, it's quite far away um, and I'm going to be showing you loads of things and I know there are going to be hundreds of questions and no question is stupid. I will do my very best to answer every question that I can as best I can um, and yeah I hope it's really informative but please ask our way, everybody's just coming on. Well, yeah. Everything's back to front. Yep. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that's fun. So, yeah, we're going to have an unboxing. We're going to have a look at the products. And then we are going to do, because I'm absolutely crazy, I must be, um, I'm going to do a live application as well so you guys can see exactly how it works. So, for any of you that already do full cover tip systems, you'll be able to see just how simple it is and how it takes the best of different brands and kind of combines everything together. Hi, Kaylee. Um, yeah, to create a really, really, really great product. So exciting. Spin this thing and see if you can get it right. Get a what? Spinny. Oh, what do you mean a spinny? <clears throat> Spin the camera around so that people can see what the box has to say. No, it's fine. It's fine. They go, they know. Yeah, but then I can't see what they're saying. I can't see people are waving. See people are waving and saying hi. I can't see that otherwise. Okay, let's get started, guys. So... First of all, here is our absolutely stunning, yes, it's back to front, but our absolutely stunning starter kit, holographic and all. So the great thing about this kit is it has absolutely everything that you need to get started. Um, in fact, you can do at least 25 sets with this kit. Um, actually, if you bought an, a spare bottle of the gel, um, um, Facebook is trying to reconnect. It's okay. Um, then you'd be able to get 50 out of this whole set. Um, and the big question is, how much is the kit? So it is just £65. That gives you this everything in the box. So let's have a look. And the great thing about the box is, especially if you're mobile, you pack everything up and go. You don't need to leave anything anywhere. And it's a really cute box, so you can just use it for keeping all of your wee... Um, we nail bits and bobs in it. And who doesn't love a bit of holographic exactly, Georgina? Look at that. Stunning. Okay, so here we go. So it's like a magnet. The magnet keeps it closed. And even the inside is holographic. Absolutely love it. This is for everybody who's already had the kit. The two things that every single person says is, OMG, the packaging, I'm obsessed. I absolutely love it. And the, the stand, and everybody uses the same word, is genius. We think so. Um, just quickly before actually we get looking at the stuff, just the boring bit. So why did we do this system? So we, um, as most of you know, have our own salon and we've had a salon for 10 years now. And about eight years ago, we, when I was at a beauty show in Scotland, um, I saw this system and it was advertising a full set of um, acrylic nails in 15 minutes. And I was like, no, absolute rubbish, it's not possible. The very next year, I was actually working at the show and I saw the same stands and I was like, hmm. So I had normal acrylics on and I thought, I'll, I'll take one of them off and I'll get the girl to put one on and then I'll spend the rest of the weekend trying to get it off. And if I can't, then we'll give it a go in the salon. So that was seven years ago and we haven't looked back since. It is now all but completely replaced normal acrylics in the salon. We can do easily, we could do 100 sets plus of these in a week, depending on the time of year maybe like 200 at Christmas time. And normal acrylics, we're lucky if we see one set because our customers just love this system. It is more aesthetically pleasing. It lasts them longer. It's cheaper for the clients and it's cheaper for you guys as well. And the reason that we decided to develop our very own one is because we were using, we ended up using, uh, combining different brands to get the best of both worlds. So the, the, the very first brand that we started using, the only brand that there was at the time, their um, application products, their gel and their primer and the lamp and everything we loved and was great, but the tips were a bit old fashioned. We were having to cut and shape them, which was kind of defeating the purpose. And then a couple of years after using it, other brands, well known, brands that are probably quite well known to you guys right now, they came out and we loved their tips, but we were not keen on their, their application products and the lamp was so silly. Um, lockdown 
gave us the chance to develop something that would combine all of the elements that we really liked and offered it to you guys. Now it's going to be an evolving um, system, you know, we're going to be bringing out new lengths and shapes. We've already got some in, in the pipeline and we really would love your guys' input as well. So if there's lengths and shapes that you would like to see or any other changes, we would love to hear it. You know, it's a brand new product and collaboration is the best way that you get really, really good quality items. So we would love to hear your input. Anyway, the bit that you want to see. So let's get back to it. The stunning box. So here is what it looks like inside. So it's Oh, try not to drop it. It's beautifully packed. It's all magnets and stuff. So you can't, you can't ruin the box. Absolutely stunning. Okay. So let's have a look first. So first things we've got here are, we have got our three liquid products. So we have got our X prime, which is a primer. We have got our X gel, which comes actually in three different formats. And how gorgeous is the stun is the packaging, guys? So this is our 15 ml bottle. We also have it in a 30 ml squeeze tube, which I absolutely love. You'd love a short length, but pretty shape. Totally agree. Definitely something I'm passionate about getting as well. Um, yeah, we have this also in a 30 ml squeeze tube. In fact, hang on, I'm just going to grab it just so you guys can see. In fact, no, I'll show you guys later. Uh, <laughs> I'll probably strangle myself. Um, and we also have it in a sensitive option as well for your clients who might be slightly more reactive. Um, our standard one does have Hema in, which is not a bad product, but some people who do have allergies, um, they, they can react to it. So um, most products that we tend to use these days do have a small amount of Hema and ours is a very small amount, but we wanted to make sure that we cater to everybody. So we do have that sensitive option and it is only one pan more. So it really is. And the, and, and the adhesion is honestly just as good. So, oh, here we go. Is what about the size. the size, the 30 mil one? 30 mil. So the 30 mil one, it is a lot bigger, double the size, does double the amount. We reckon that you would get about 50 sets out of this one um, and 25 out of the, the wee one. Now bear in mind when you do first start with these systems, they do tend to you, you do tend to use a little more gel um, and obviously as you get practice then you will use a little bit less. And then the last thing we have is something super clever, we absolutely love it, it is our XH. So what this is, is an acid primer, it's not for use on the nails, it is for use on the tips. So we can use this to chemically etch the inside of the tips rather than having to hand etch them, which gets rid of dust and saves you so much time. We can also use it to buff the natural nail as well. You know, at the very end, we're going to use a buffer just to take the shine off. We can use this instead, but that is totally personal preference, whether you do want to use that or not. So the next thing we have is our tips in this particular set I have coffin medium so we have our tips available in seven different lengths and sizes right now as I said we are already got new ones in the pipeline and um, but we've kind of gone with the seven what we found through a little bit of research and also from our own salon what the most popular legs and shapes are so we have got coffin medium absolute must we've got coffin long um, short square medium square Short stiletto, long stiletto, medium almond. Yes, we do. And um, within that, we've also got two different versions. So for instance, this is coffin medium, this is pre-etched. So the inside of the tips are already etched, which means that you don't need to hand etch or use the X-etch. I kind of still like to use the X-etch because it just, I feel like it gives me a bit of safety. I don't know, I just like to use it and wipe it on anyway. Um, but you don't technically need to. What I would say is the tips that are pre-etched are a little more, they tend to be better for people with more flat sort of nail nail beds, kind of the most common ones. Whereas people who have more of a C-curve sort of nail bed, they tend to be better with just the clear ones that are not etched. But we will be having etched and non-etched probably in most things soon. So watch this space um, so then we've got our little torch which is nothing special it's got our logo on it so a lot of you guys if you've used systems like this before you will have these torches and um, again nothing special just got our logo on it and it works with our system but the piece de resistance which is the thing that is <laughs> it's so silly because it's so simple that everybody's super excited about is the torch stand Yes, hands 
free curing. So this is one of the things I thought was so ridiculous about all the other the brands and systems that came out over the years is that you had to hand hold these torches you know you're trying to hold the nail on and i think for a really good application you need to have a firm grip whilst curing for those first few seconds so how are you doing that while doing this or a different type of one this is so simple so for any of you guys that already have torches and systems like that this will fit so if you have a little look here so it's like a, is this called a grommet, Chris? A little grommet, a little rubber guy. Um, and you can just put your torch in and it'll just hold it. So even it, it's kind of universal. So any of these wee torches, it will fit. <laughs> I mean, how simple? Amazing genius. Amazing. It's Amazing. so simple, but it's going to make your life so much easier. So yeah, completely hands-free curing because this little guy is on. You're holding everything under here. So easy. Um, can you buy everything separately too? Absolutely, of course you can. So as I said earlier, the kit which you get all of this and so you get a box of tips and you get a choice of, the, of four different styles. So we've got the, got the most popular ones that you can um, select with your kit. So coffin medium, short square, medium almond and long coffin um, for the kits. And obviously you can buy the tips extra. Um, then you've got your X etch, which is good for 50 sets at least. Actually, a lot more. One of the girls in our salon, I think she's actually had like over 100 sets out of this. Um, and the primer is the same. Again, we say 50 sets, but genuinely, I think it's a lot more than that. Um, and then, as I said, the bottles are the same size of the gel. They are good for 25 sets. So if you wanted to buy like the kit and then like one extra bottle of gel which is just going to be 13 pounds so 13 pounds for your gel 14 pounds for your sensitive gel um that means so what would that be that would be 17 78 pounds and that could um gross you 1500 pounds um, we recommend that for this treatment including like a one color gel um when is it available to buy? It's gonna be available to buy after this video. And that's another thing, um, wait till the end because you were gonna do an exclusive discount code for training. We'll be doing a tutorial so we can see. Yes, absolutely. So keep watching. I'm about to do a live application and we are, have a course, which I'll talk about in a little minute. Um, so yes, we recommend that you charge, depending on your area, between 25 and 40 pounds. Obviously, if you're in a busy city centre location, about 40 pounds, um, and that would include a sort of one colour gel gel polish. Um, obviously, nail art, we would uh, charge extra. We charge 30 pounds in our salon, and um, the clients get about four weeks wear out of them, sometimes longer. Um, and because of the nature of the product, it sits a lot closer to the cuticle. If you've never done one of these systems before, it can take a minute to get your brain around it because funny, I was training somebody the other day and I was watching her and I was like, no, you can go closer to the cuticle because when you're doing traditional acrylics, you obviously have to have that gap between um, the, the cuticle and the product so that it's not going to bleed into onto the area and onto the cuticle. Obviously, we don't want that in contact. But because this system it's a hard, it's a solid product as such, the tips are solid. You can get that a little bit closer, which means the infills, for me, I, I typically find, I actually had one of my clients, I was microblading the other day, and I was like, oh, I love your nails. And she said, oh, I got them done here. I was like, when did you get them done? And I think she said the 29th of July. And I swear to goodness, they look like they had barely been on a week. Um, so I would say that these normal acrylics, and the, there's like two, they're two weeks apart, that's kind of how I feel about them. Do you infill these or do they just need removed when grown out? Totally up to you. So in our salon, we allow our clients to have one removal, Jennifer. Yes. Jennifer is our salon manager. She's here as well. And um, we allow them to have one removal, the, uh, infill, sorry. And the reason for this is that we kind of feel like infilling them almost defeats the purpose a little bit. The point that I was just making there about how close you can get to the cuticle, obviously when you're then infilling and you're using a liquid product, you can't get quite as close. Um, so we, but it's your personal preference. If you want to keep infilling, you absolutely can. And the best thing is 
you can use this to infill the product and it works amazingly. In fact, Hope um, from That Nail Place, one of our BAs, she has been using the gel as a sort of um, rubber base builder type base on her natural nails and she's been finding that it work, like it lasts and it looks really, really good and keeps her nails nice and strong. So you absolutely can use that um, for infills or just on the natural nail as a sort of more firm base. Um, and if you wanted to infill them, you would just do it exactly as you would any other sort of um, extension system. Obviously, remove the gel, any sort of lifted areas, which there shouldn't really be. And <laughs> hope, still going strong. Perfect. I kept checking in with it because I was like, oh, what's it like? What's it like? Because I hadn't tried it as just a product on natural nails. Um, and yeah, so once you would prep the area for the infill, prime it, gel it, ready to go. Um, Okay. One question from yep. Georgina. She was asking if there's going to be an online training course. There is an online training I'm course, guys. That. Thanks to the BAs. <laughs> yes. Um, so I'll come up the course in one second. I'm just going to quickly talk about removals. So another fantastic thing about this system is it removes so much easier and so faster. It kind of removes you can remove it like you remove a gel polish. I still prefer to do the old um, nail soak method, but for me, 15 minutes is absolutely plenty for removal. I do um, use an e-file for removal, so I'll e-file to get all the, the top color off, and then I'll soak, e-file, soak, and then I'll just use um, a, natu a, a normal nail file, hand nail file, just to take any little extra bits off, um, or you can just like scrape it as well. But the product does come off really, really nice. Tell me now. <laughs> um, so the course um, at the end of the video I'm going to give an exclusive discount code which is um, just for you guys that's watching and it's only for the first 50 people um, and it is for the online course so um, long story short I actually wrote this course several and had it accredited several years ago when I very first started when we when we were using the very original system and the owner of that company allowed me to write that and gave me the rights to it. Um, and then when we had ours, I thought this is going to be like a really easy conversion. So I converted it and I've had it re-accredited and everything. So at the moment, the online course, I'm only having it for already qualified nail techs. So as long as you're qualified in a minimum of gel polish, that's absolutely fine. Um, and the reason for that is the only thing that's missing out of the course is the prep um and and i kind of feel like if you were a complete beginner and um, because my original course is for complete beginners i think that it's really important to have that face-to-face -face element and um, especially when you talk about prep on natural nails um and obviously like painting and things like that although it's not a gel polish course we want to have that element so i do think face-to-face -face is quite important and um, so yes at the moment as long as you're qualified in a minimum of gel polish you can do our online course and as i said it is accredited um just quickly before I talk a little bit more about that, anybody who has played around, dabbled with full um, cover tip systems and thinking, oh, can I do this? Like, even if I don't have a specific like qualification in a full cover tip system, yes, you can, as long as you have an insur have insurance that quali uh, covers you for nail enhancements, because this is a nail enhancement. So you don't need a specific extra qualification in this. Obviously, always check your insurance, but most of them will say nail enhancements. I know ours does. Um, and if you have any more questions about that, please just let us know. But yeah, so the course um, it is available online or it will be after this. A few of our BAs have already done it um, and it is £60. So it is really not expensive at all. And then I'm going to give you guys a code at the end of this and that's for 50% uh, off. So the course will just be £30 um, for the first 50 people who want to do it. Um, so yeah, have I, is there anything I want to go, we want to go over? So good. Like, just quickly, right? Full cover tip systems. If you've never used them, you know nothing about them, you're looking at it, you're thinking that cannot be the same as traditional extensions, you know, LMP or gel extensions, it can't be the same, it can't last as well. It it does, it's better. I, I can't think of genuinely, unless you're somebody who is really, really into sculpting and um, what I would call competition nails, there is absolutely not one reason I can think of that this is not better than a traditional system. For a start, the smell. Whenever that one time a week that somebody is doing um, 
normal acrylics in our salon maybe because the person wants a French ombre and you know it's always a better effect with liquid and powder unless you're really talented with gel um, as soon as I walk out of my my beauty room I just get hit with the smell of monomer it is such a strong scent you don't have any of that with this you don't have the debulking and the filing the nails are pre-shaped for you so you don't have any of the dust so genuinely I think it is probably a lot better for nail tech health especially if you're doing a lot of nails but back to back you're not inhaling all that dust and even with the best um, extraction system there's still a lot of dust um, and that monomer smell which can give you such a sore head and um, so you you don't have that and for me they're more aesthetically pleasing because they are not bulky um, and they paint like a dream Chris, I can see people asking questions, but I can't see them because I'm yes. blind. Someone called Rebecca Louise, which is really funny. That's my name. Uh, asked if they could use it for personal use as opposed to a nail salon. Personal use, unless you are uh, um, qualified to the products, are professional use only, um, guys. So we won't be selling to um, anybody who isn't a qualified nail tech. That's really important. These are professional use products only. Georgina just is keen as hell, and she said, that I'm in it for 50 for sure. But I think she meant 30, because it was for the training's only 30, Georgina. And somebody was talking about the amount of time it takes. Oh yeah. Um, Lush Nails Liverpool. Lots of my clients hate sitting for long Absolutely. periods I can't do it. of time. I think my clients would love this. That's one thing I'm not going over time. How long does it take? Um, <laughs> we're about to do it like I must be absolutely mad obviously everybody takes a different amount of time for prep some people a lot of people hand prep a lot of people e-file and it, some people have really really in-depth prep I know recently I've added a lot of extra steps with lovely um, drill bits from Willow um, to my to my um, prep and I just love getting all those extra bits but that obviously adds extra time but the the prep that will determine the time but with practice um 30 minutes for a plain gel gel color absolutely no reason i did a set the other day because we had a mental day in the salon that was absolutely awful but long story short i think i put a set on in about 20 minutes so yeah it cuts the time in half easily yes so trying to figure out what's the biggest size of uh, cutie, uh sorry, the biggest size of tips you do zero we don't have any double, ze double zeros right now um but I don't even know if we would. With another brand that we used to use in our salon, we ordered in double zeros. Jennifer, do we still have all of them? Oh, we've never used them. So that is, at the moment it's a zero, but again, we are completely open to suggestion. If anybody thinks, oh, I think this would be really good. Let us know, we wanna hear it all. And, sorry, just one second. Dream Nails XOX2 is asking a really good question. Does the gel have HEMA in it? So, yes. Uh, Hang on a minute. Gosh, we've lost everything again. Oh, okay, Chris is going again. So our X gel, like most of your, the most of the popular, most favourite brands right now, they they all do have various amounts of Hema in it. Um, our X gel does, but it is a very small amount. It is the smallest amount that I have seen because um, I did do a lot of comparison. However, if you do have those reactive clients, you Let's just quickly go over HEMA. HEMA is a controversial subject only because it is an allergen, so people can take reactions and exposed con uh, continuous contact, as a lot of, lot of contact over time can increase the likelihood of having an allergy, but fear not. We have our X gel sensitive, which is HEMA free, and the adhesion is just as good. Now, you're probably thinking, why do you not just have the sensitive one? At this point in time, I actually don't have an answer for that. <laughs> Um, I think it was, I was like, oh, that's, I, we want to be as inclusive as possible and we really want to cater to as many people as we can. Um, so that's why I was, it was kind of an afterthought, the sensitive one. I was like, oh, we need to have that. It's really, really important. So you never know. Watch this space. We could go completely sensitive. Um, but yeah, as I said, in, in the standard one, there, it, 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 there is this amount of HEMA, but it is a very, very small amount. But if you need to be HEMA free, no problem. Use the x -Gel sensitive. Okay. So we are going to move right now, guys. So this might look a little bit unprofessional, a little bit crazy, but I need to move desks so that I can do the live application, which I'm really, really nervous about. But anyway, let's go and do it. Let's do it. We're moving. We're moving. And I'm going to try not trip. Okay. Currently can't see anything. We are just moving, guys. Getting set up. Oh, oh. Whoa. Du, 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 du. <laughs> okay, guys. Making sure 
Facebook and Instagram can see. Chris, have you got the other phone there so you can just double check that? So, my trusty model is Jennifer, who is our salon manager. Hey, <laughs> Does that look okay? Uh, the tip box is now in the centre. Of okay, so screen. this is where we're going to be. Just real quick, tips, ABS plastic or soft gel? Soft gel. Soft gel, yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was really confused by the question for a second. I was like, huh? Is this a good, are we in a good? Yeah. We are based in Paisley, just outside Glasgow in Scotland. In our training academy. In our training academy, which we do have, which has not been used because of COVID for some time. However, we hope to get that fixed soon. Just lastly, before you get back onto your training, trick or treat, Nails was just asking to show the squeezy bottle again. Yeah. Oh, hang on, we've got two different ones. Squeezy, this is for Facebook. And this is for Instagram, squeezy bottle. I'm gonna, you know what guys, I'm gonna use both just so that you can see. Um, and because this is live, you know, it's gonna all go crazy. And this is, it's, it's a lot of pressure, right? It's a lot of pressure. However, so Jennifer's nails, I've already prepped them because prepping on camera is just that level of um, pressure that I just can't take, quite frankly. So there we go. So today we're gonna use our coffin, our long coffin tips. Oh, another thing is we have, the tips come 600 pieces in a box, 600. Um, the different sizes have different, um, the different shapes, sorry, have different numbers. So we have sizes zero, this one is zero to 11, zero to 11, okay? Um, and some of the other ones are zero to nine, but they all kind of work out. Um, so yes, oh yeah. We also have refill bags as well. Jen I'm looking oh at Jennifer's God. face and she's making things hard for me. We have refill bags as well, so that's really good. Not all of the shapes are currently available in refill bags, but the most popular ones are, so that's really, really good. It means you don't need to buy a box every time. How much is a box of tips, I hear you ask? Um, 20 pounds, so 20 pounds for the box of 600. Our system is the best priced system on the market. I did a lot of research. That's something that is so, so important to us. Um, so to do a full set of tips, uh, a full set of extensions is 89 pence. That is what it will cost you. That's not including your gel polish and anything like that, um, or your disposables, depending on whether you use one file per person or whether you use um, an e-file. But for our system, it is eight, it will cost you 89p per set that you do. So that's really, really good markup for you guys. So first things first, we've prepped, we're ready to go. We're now gonna size the nails, okay. so. Let's start with the 10. So when you are sizing this system, it's really important that you firmly press. Can we see everything okay, yeah? So we firmly press on the nail plate to make sure it fits, okay? We're not just like holding it up, we are firmly pressing because that's what we're gonna be doing when we apply it properly. So I'm just gonna try a different size in Jennifer. I kind of wish that I'd selected this like ahead of time, but at the same time, you know, this is, re this is real life, isn't it? So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Oh, I've picked up the same size again. Okay, hang on, here we go. Right, so we're really pressing to make sure it completely fits side to side. Now, should you, your tip not fit perfectly, um, it's really important that you do not put a tip on that is too big. If you put the tip on that is too big, you are likely to get lifting um, because it won't be sealed all the way around. So it's really important that it fits snugly from side to side. If, you, if your client is between sizes, it's really simple. You can just, I'm just gonna file this one just as an example for you. Um, oh, what's this, a nail order file? Um, literally, you can just do this. You just file, and at the same, see if your client has a more round or a more square end to their, uh, their cuticle end. You can just lightly file the tip into the desired shape that's gonna work for your client. Most people you don't really need to do that with, but it's, it just takes seconds if you do need to do it, okay? Another tip is that if your client is one size on one hand, nine times out of 10, they're gonna be the same size on the other hand. So what I like to do just to um, save some time is I'll always get two tips out, okay? So I'll get one for each hand out. So one for each hand and I'll just line them up as I go. Ask any questions away, guys, if you need to, okay? What shapes are the tips available for? So tips are currently available in seven different lengths and shapes. So we currently have medium coffin, long coffin, um, short stiletto, long stiletto, short square, medium square, and medium almond. 
and someone from the States who signed up earlier on today, I think she's from Portland, Oregon, I remember. Uh, Mail Food was saying that's about 123 US dollars. I'm going to guess that's for probably the starter kit, which I think, just going with my math, should work out a little bit cheaper than that, probably around 105 US dollars. Is it even as much as that? Well, no, it's got to be, it's got to be sub 100 dollars. Chris likes to think of himself as a little bit of an expert in America, so you know, just putting that out there. <laughs> so yeah guys just to reiterate when we are sizing these tips we are pressing firmly and making sure they fit fully from side to side we don't want any gaps at any edges but we definitely do not want the tip to be too big because you are going to get lifting if it's too big okay so that is really really important and again if your client is between sizes you can file the bigger size down so it works Just out of interest, guys, on here, how many of you already use full, full cover tip systems? Is anybody answering, Chris? I don't have a second to catch up. <clears throat> but someone was just asking real quick, um, are there sizes in millimetres anywhere? Uh, yes, there is on, um, on, the, the, on the website. Uh, the on each product? On each, is there, on is each it? Tab, I'm sure there is. Oh, is it just on the course right now? Either way, there will be. Okay, if it's not right now, there will be, so don't worry. It's also we're trying. It's, yeah, it's been a lot of work, trying to get everything, like to make sure everything's like completely compliant and everything is, is a lot of work, so. There's a slight delay, so I'm just getting, yes me, yes me, I do, I do, I do, I do. And then getting as people who use, use the full cover tips. tips. And when you use your full cover tips, is there anything that like particularly annoys you about them or that you would change or, yeah. So the next thing we're gonna do with our tips, guys, I've got them all lined up for both hands, is we're gonna use our X etch. So remember, our X etch is our chemical etcher. So that's gonna prepare the inside of the tips for a good adhesion. Um, so that's, a, if you don't want the X etch or don't use the X etch, you can hand etch as well, but that obviously means more dust and more time. So, yeah. So with the etch, we are just going to wipe it in the full area of the tip that is going to be in contact with the natural nail plate okay so it is important that it is the full area that is in contact with the natural nail plate not just a little bit what it kind of does is it like yeah it just kind of melts it a little bit i guess well melts is probably the wrong word it chemically prepares the tip oh. <laughs> Good So there aren't, there is like one other brand that has a similar product. Well, someone's actually asking me if you're just about to say something about a different product. Mm -hmm. now, I don't know how to pronounce this product. Is it a pre? Is it a prez? <laughs> I always call it a prez, right? But I is know now that it's wrong. But anyway. <clears throat> What's the difference between a pre and extensions? What's the difference? It's better. Yeah, but it's cheaper. Um, other than that, I can't. It's cheaper in our torch and our light. Um, obviously, they have a much bigger range of tips than we have. They're a fantastic brand. We we really really like them in our salon. We, well, we love their tips. Their tips we we've, we've absolutely fallen in love with. Um, our um, these tips are identical in length and shape to the as in this particular length shape to theirs. Um, but yeah, I would say the difference is the price and the hands free curing. That's that's. What I would say, oh, this is actually important as well, right? So, in fact, I'll come to it in a wee second, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is primer, so it is just like we stand with prime nails for any system, we are just going to pop it on the nails. So I like to etch all the nails, you leave them for a little second just while you're doing the primer, and we are going to just prime the natural nails. We say leave to dry for four seconds, but obviously by the time you're onto the next nail, like four seconds has passed, so it's kind of irrelevant. The exciting bit with the torches coming, guys, and I hope you can see it from the angle that you're at. I think yeah. mm, they can't. Not helpful. Okay. Obviously, not very helpful. Oh God! Please don't judge me if it, you know I make any mistakes with this because it's a lot of pressure doing this on camera. Anywho, right? Let's get ready to move the camera so that everybody can see the torch. Oh, Chris is just going to hold it apparently. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get our torch ready first. Always get it ready when you're about to do things like this. So what we're going to use first is we're going to use the, um, the X gel in the bottle. 
Uh, is there a limited amount of stock? you do not need to put down a base layer of gel which is really really great so if we're using it from the bottle we're just going to brush a small amount of gel on to the base of the tip here if you ever get any on the upside we don't have any there you can wipe it on the back of your glove if you wear gloves so what we're going to do now is we're going to line up the tip at a 45 degree 